It brings me great pain to announce that we have had three more deaths in Illinois associated with COVID-19. One was a Will County resident in his 50s, a second, a Cook County resident in her 80s, and the third is a Florida resident who was visiting Sangamon County. These moments will not get easier, nor should they. We are fighting this fight for every person in Illinois. We have all lost something today. So today I'm signing an executive order significantly expanding telemedicine for both Medicaid and those who are private insured. My administration is offering relief to more than 20,000 small and medium-sized bars and restaurants all across Illinois by allowing a two-month delay in sales tax payments to the state and to local jurisdictions. And we're waiving late filing fees and interest starting tomorrow, Friday, March 20th. And as of today, Illinois' small businesses from every county in Illinois are now eligible to apply for low-interest coronavirus disaster assistance loans of up to $2 million. As of yesterday, we were able to do more than 1,000 tests statewide, and in just a few days, we'll be increasing that to more than 2,000 tests per day. These tests are only discovering people who already have the virus. Essential services will not close. Interstates, highways, and bridges will stay open. Grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations, these sources of fundamental supplies will continue to operate. There is no need to run out and hoard food, gas, or medicine. Buy what you need within reason. There is enough to go around as long as people do not hoard. We will never shut these services down. Thank you, Governor, and again, I just, I thank you for your amazing. Unfortunately, we do anticipate additional deaths. We continue to issue the guidance. Please, everyone, stay home as much as possible so we can reduce the number of people who are infected, which will reduce the number of people who get serious illness, which will reduce the number of people who will lose their life. Initial information from other countries did indicate that older individuals were at greater risk for severe illness, but there is data of younger people having severe complications. Overall, we have 422 cases in 22 counties across Illinois. The number of cases is rising exponentially. Thank you for joining us for our daily briefing.